Hello everyone. Good evening. Today we discuss about mucopolysaccharidosis. So it's a very important topic for your neat entrance and also for your clinical wise it's an important topic. So we'll discuss it in a very shorter form. We have made it to a concise topic. Okay. Uh, we will discuss mainly only the clinical aspect of mucopolysaccharidosis. I have not gone into the detail of the enzymes and all. Okay. So mucopolysaccharidosis it is a progressive disease. So it is a progressive one. How it occurs? Why it occurs? It occurs due to the mutations in the genes of the enzymes. So it occurs due to mutations in the genes of the enzymes that are uh, required for degradation of uh, GAG. GAG is your glucose glycans that are needed for degradation of glucose glycans. So what are these glucose glycans? These glucose glycans are you have chondroitin sulfate, heparin sulfate, dermatin sulfate, keratin sulfate, and hyaluronin okay so these are the your glucose aminoglycans so enzymes are needed for degradation of these uh, glucose aminoglycans when there is a mutation in that a particular enzyme the genes responsible for the particular enzyme to express you uh, going that the gag will not be degraded so they, these will get accumulated in your body this will get accumulated in the cells and it will cause a specific damage to the body that is leading on to the mucopolysaccharidosis fine so here we have seven types there are seven types among these seven types uh, in i mean in the seven types there is no type 5 that one you have to know okay there is no type 5 separately next all the types are autosomal recessive except except your hunter hunter is x-linked recessive you have to remember this this is a one of your neat pg question fine so you can remember it by this way hunter will i mean hunter is always a male so male so that is x-linked hunter is x-linked recessive next the most common type among this is type 3 that is san filippo this is the most common type. First most common type. Second most common type is type 1. That is hurler. Third most common type is type 2. That is hunter. So we will see the types now. Names of the type. Type 1 is hurler. In type 1 you have 2. two. One is hurler. Another one is 1s. One is, is meaning sitchi. This is a milder form. The sitchi is a milder form. While hunter will be a severe form. Next. Type 2. Type 2, I have already told, it is Hunter. Type 3 is San Filippo. Type 4 is Morcu. There is no type 5. Type C is Morte Clammy. Type 7 will be Sly. So, we will see the specific features for each of this type. Before that, we will see the common features also. So, common features for all these so common features for all these is your coarse faces. I have shown in the image. So it is coarse faces. It is Buddha leg face. Broad forehead with protruding tongue. With, I mean macroglossia with protruding tongue. Uh, you have this low set ears will also be present. Okay. And the forward uh, reading of this jaw will be present. Okay. And child will have macroglossia. There will be cloudy cornea. Fourth, the child will have low IQ. Fifth, the child will be in a short stature. What is the definition of short stature? It is height for age less than minus 2 standard deviation is called definition of short stature. Or minus 2 standard deviation or less than third percentile is the definition of short stature. Okay. The child will have macrocephaly. 
नेक्स्ट द चाइल्ड विल हैव हेपेटोस्प्लिनोमेगली एनलाजमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गन ऑर्गेनोमेगली बोथ हेपेटोस्प्लिनो आई मीन बोथ लिवर एंड ऑन टू द स्प्लिन एवरी डिजीज विल हैव डिसोस्टोसिस मल्टीप्लेक्स डिसोस्टोसिस मल्टीप्लेक्स दैट इज अ बोन डिसऑर्डर नाइन्थ द चाइल्ड विल हैव लूकोसाइट इंक्लूशन वेन यू सी इन योर माइक्रोस्कोप ओके सो दीज आर द कामन फीचर्स ऑफ ऑल द डिजीज वील गो इन टू द स्पेसिफिक फीचर्स फॉर अ पर्टिक्युलर डिजीज गोइंग इन टू द स्पेसिफिक फीचर्स फर्स्ट टाइप वन दट इज हर्लर टाइप सो इन हर्लर देर इज अ डेफिशियंसी ऑफ द एंजाइम एल ई मीन आलफा एल ऐडोनिडेज so according to the deficiency or the presence of this uh, l i mean alpha l hydronidase it is being classified as more severe type so more severe type is your hurler type more severe is your hurler milder form it is according to the presence of this so when there is a presence of this there will be a milder form of when there is no enzyme it will be a more severe type when there is a minimal present ओके इट विल बी अ माइल्डर वन माइल्डर इज योर सिची आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी एंड इंटरमीडिएट फॉर्म यू हैव द फीचर्स ऑफ बोथ दिस हर्लर एंड सिची इंटरमीडिएट फॉर्म विल बी आल्सो बी प्रेजेंट सो इन हर्लर यू हैव एवरी पॉइंट्स वी हैव टोल्ड दिस फीचर्स नो दिस कॉमन फीचर्स एवरी पॉइंट्स विल बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस हर्लर प्लस द चाइल्ड कैन प्रेजेंट विद इंक्यूनल हर्निया एट बर्थ द चाइल्ड कैन प्रेजेंट विद इंक्यूनल हर्निया एट बर्थ next the features more specific for sichi is here intelligence will be normal it will not be affected that is in most of the thing the child will have low iq here intelligence will be normal stature will be normal and the child is prone for carpal tunnel syndrome and aortic valvular disease these are the specific feature of Sichi. Next, type two, hunter. I'll write it here. In hunter, there will not be any corneal clouding. There is no corneal clouding. Why? Because hunter. Because you can remember it this way. Hunter, he have to see well, well to shoot or aim the animal. So there will not be any corneal clouding for this person. next there can be an extensive the child can have an extensive mongolian spot this can be your early marker this can be the early marker of the disease also okay it's not specifically the child should have it can the child can have present with that okay next i will show the x rays later third third i have told you it is san filippo the san filippo is the most common type next here also the child will not have corneal clouding there is no corneal clouding in this plus main feature of san filippo is hyperactivity the child will be very hyperactive with aggressive behaviors other features will be similar the common features are common that will be present okay next in fourth is morcu in morcu here intelligence will be normal second the child will be markedly short short stature here third there will be absence of this leukocyte inclusion will be absent in this child absence of leukos inclusion fourth the child the specific feature for this child is joint laxity so due to this joint laxity the child will have atlanto axial joint subluxation so these are the specific feature of marcu next one minute 
Next specific feature of type 6 that is Mortec Lamy. So specific feature of Mortec Lamy is intelligence. Okay. So intelligence will be normal here also. So the normal intelligence are present in type 6, type 4 that is more Q and in uh, your uh, this thing, Suchi. One yes, is also normal intelligence. So normal intelligence in three types. Next, type 7. Other features are same. Type 7 is Sly. In Sly disease, the child, the most severe form the child can present with non-immune high drops so this can be your uh, this can they can ask in your mcq also so which among the following type will present with non-immune high drops so the severe form of this like can present with non-immune high drops also right so these are the specific features for the particular disease so normal intelligence is present in sichi morq mor on the type 6 that is mortec lamy no corneal clouding in hunter and also in san filippo Next, uh, main other uh, treatment. Treatment part, you have enzyme replacement therapy. So, enzyme replacement therapy is mainly present for types like 1, 2, 4 and 6. Sorry, I've written 6. So, it is 1, 2, 4 and 6 have the enzyme replacement therapy. This one you have to remember. Next, we'll see the x-ray finding. In x-ray... Ah, this is in vertebral epilepsy. The child will have beaking. The child will have beaking of this vertebral bodies. Okay, one. Next in hand, the child will have bullet shaped. This is bullet shaped metacarpals will be present. In hip X-ray, the acetabular fossa will be very shallow. Okay, and the, so the child can get dislocated easily. The hip will be dislocated easily, and the, the, there will be the tapering ends will be present. It is also called as hibiscus ileus. Okay, Hibis, hibiscus shaped ilium. So bullet shaped vertebra with bullet. Uh, sorry, beaking of vertebra. I write it here. Beaking of vertebra. Bullet shaped metacarpals. And child will have tapering ends of this iliac bone will be present or hibiscus shaped iliac bones will be present okay so this is the main clinical features of your uh, mucopolysaccharidosis thank you in next video we i'll make uh, some nice interesting video okay in the uh, we'll discuss about catch up immunization yeah, all i've asked about catch up immunization i'll try to cover up catch up immunization in my next video and also the hiv in pediatrics this is one topic and next is, next is HIV in pediatrics. This is also an important topic. Okay. I will try to cover this both in my next video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's all learn pediatric together. Thank you.